there are days when I think everything is simultaneously meaningful and meaningless. And then I realize I'm not even stoned. I think a lot about birds and wildlife, what it means to be human, what it means to not be human, partly because it's my job and partly because I just do. These are magnificent frigate birds. They have seven foot wingspans. They are so light they can glide for hours on the lightest of winds, which sounds poetic, but it's really because they spend their lives at sea and can't swim and will drown if they get too wet. This is a peregrine falcon, trained through a combination of starvation and sleep deprivation to live in the immediate proximity of humans and to take orders from them, which is not something they're inclined to do of their own volition. I'm always discomfited when I see a trained bird of prey, but I can't stop watching them fly. This right here is a manatee orgy in a storm-damaged marina filled with crocodiles. The great Madonna Chacon once said that beauty is where you find it, not just where you bump and grind it. And except for manatee orgies, this may be true. Some find their bearings in the world listening to music that no one else can hear. Some find it in repetition. Some by listening to a six foot eight clown sing the songs of Abba. And when you get the chance, you are the dancing queen, young and sweet, only seventeen. All of us, though, like stories. We have stories. We steal like crows from the stories we've been told to tell our own stories. And I wonder sometimes why we need to do that so badly. Is it some undiscovered biological need to experience something with a beginning, a middle, and an end? Or is it just the way we rationalize the random chaos that makes up our lives? The way we just make sense of it all? I think about this a lot too. And then I just think, fuck it. You gotta do something. Is this the real world, or are we all just cavemen? Staring at shadows on the wall in an indifferent universe. Are we all just trapped in roles we don't understand? Sometimes, I just wish it could be a little different. That we could escape these roles. That there was another way. escape. The only way out is just to play through.
all you got, Cuzzy Bubba? That's it. All in, all in, all in, all in, all in, all in. All in. Never go all in against a Cuban conch when death is on the line. Now why do I have to do this? Just do it, Robert. Uh, I am an instructor. Call me Rufus. I keep it in my Dukes of Hazard lunchbox like I have one. Oh! <laughs>